For this one, we want to test the pH of the urine samples that we have, and we'll just dip a pH strip into each of the urine samples and then compare the color of the strip uh, to the comparison chart that's on the box. So here we have the box. Here are the uh, basic numbers and, and the colors, and here are the acidic numbers and colors, 0 through 7. And then again, for basic, we're 7 through 14. Okay. Uh, we'll repeat all of those. I want to bring us back to testing the pH. And the pH value that you'll need to be familiar with is that normal urine is somewhere between 4.5 and 8. And anything you eat, pathologies, um, hydration status, uh, these things like fevers and acidosis could lower the pH, whereas anemia or vomiting and urine retention, ischuria, could raise the pH or make it more basic. So let's look at the pH strips. Now I've already done the pH for these. Then I'll set the cups back up, but let's look at these colors and give them some numbers. So patient number one, the male who's 54, Remember that normal pH is somewhere between 4.5 and 8. And on the box here, when we're comparing our color chart, we can see here that Mr. Rollins is somewhere. We've got a little bit of the green in that fourth row. And so Mr. Rollins is somewhere around 5, right? somewhere around five. The bottom two rows are getting ready to turn to more green. So somewhere around five is Mr. Rollins' pH for that sample. Now, in reality too, it's been sitting here for a minute, so it might have been closer to six, but that's a normal pH for him, okay? And then four, let's put that in here. For Miss Callahan, the 39-year-old female, we notice that this is not on the basic side. I'm sorry, it's not on the acidic side, right? It's very basic. So let's look at the basic chart here and see what we can match. So we're looking at 910. It's almost a very close to the 10, isn't it? We would say 910 for that. I'm going to go with 10. I oh, will just say 910 here. It's hard to tell with these little strips what exactly it is, so it's giving it a, giving myself a little wiggle room there. Number three, patient number three, Miss Johnson. Now her urine. is down here at 3, 4, wouldn't you say? Right, 2 is a little too dark, but 3, 4 is not looking too bad there. You would probably say between 2 and 3, but I'm going to say 3, 4 so that it sticks with the outcome. Well, let's say pH 3, 4 for Miss Johnson. And then Mr. Maxwell. Mr. Maxwell's urine over here, it said, let's look at his, we'll double check, close to seven, getting around seven there, I'm going to say somewhere between six and seven for him, so we can see that again, somewhere between six and seven for Mr. Maxwell. Okay, so when we're filling in our chart, we notice that we have a yellow color for the first patient, yellow for the second patient. We had sort of an amber for the third patient, and we had a yellow for Mr. Maxwell. The amber had a precipitate with it, so we want to be aware of that. And all of these were clear. 
precipitate was at the bottom, so even though it was at the bottom, the urine did look clear. And this one looks clear. This one could have been a little bit cloudy. All right, so those are our results so far.